Good morning. Welcome back to Lotta Bell's world, y'all. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about the all grown out hair growth oil. I know you have seen it from it's it's brought to you by the glam room. I know you have seen it um all over Instagram. I did too, so I decided to go ahead and use it. It's nothing like trying out a good oil, you guys. I have been using this oil, honestly, for like uh, over a year now. So, it really, really works. It really, really works. I love it. It's a really thick consistency. You can see the ingredients. Rosemary. You can see the oil. Um... Yeah, of course you can see the oil. But you can see the roses, the rose pieces as well. And you see me putting it throughout my braids. Normally, I like to wear, like, really protective styles. Um, protective styles really help my hair grow because I stay out of my head. I'm not putting any heat, any extra stress or strain on it. My problem area has, are really, when I started, my problem area was my edges and um, as I've aged a little bit, I feel like the middle of my head is getting a little bit thin. And then I realized that my detangling method was all wrong. If you guys want to see the new way I detangle my daughter and myself's hair, then let me know. And I'll go ahead and post that. Who knows? I might post it for Blocktober. Who knows? But y'all, this all grown out hair growth oil is the bomb. Do you hear me? So, one day after I had my daughter, I had edges, right? The next day I woke up, I was looking for them, sis. I didn't know where they were. I looked on the pillow, honey. They were not there. I looked under the pillow. They were not there. Y'all, I don't know what happened to my edges. I didn't even know postpartum hair loss or whatever it's called like hair loss after having um a child was a thing but yes it is a thing and um sis had it you see that little section yes it's grown back so much but in this video you guys are going to see the pictures of where i came from and things like that i'm just showing y'all how i put it throughout my entire head I rub it in really well. I don't worry about the pieces of rosemary or anything staying in my hair. I really don't care because sis need them edges. Do you understand me? After you put it in, it is okay for you to go ahead and style. As you can see, I have put some type of uh, edge control on my edges. Y'all, I did a video on different types of edge controls that I have tried. And it is a really... It's an okay video. You know what I'm saying? It's a good little shindig. I'm putting out that content. So, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out that video with the numerous edge controls that I have done so far. It's really going to be a series. I have so many other edge controls to try. But I just have not put out that video. So, yeah, you can style after using the oil. It's okay. This is my hair. This was last Christmas. As you can see, this picture right here, this is from like June 17 to October. And then that's the other day, y'all. It went so fast. I'm sorry. So I put this video in so you can see how bad my edges are. Don't look at the background. Just look at them edges, baby. Because I needed to clean up, but I didn't. Okay. I was talking to my friend, and she don't care. I was in the process of cleaning up. But as you can see, my edges, they are literally balding. Like, compared to now and then, it's a hot mess. 
So eventually I got tired of my edges looking like that and I just started doing a side part of what do you say I'll call it? A side cut. Yeah, I did a side cut. And it was cute, but I was really trying to see if I cut my edges down, if they would grow back. I did not cut them completely bald, but I did go through with like the clippers and kind of clip them down all my edges along with that side cut. I did a side cut because I thought it would be weird to just have my edges cut down. But y'all, throughout this entire process, I was actually you started I had started using the hair oil in this clip. I had just started using it. So my edges were a hot mess. This is before I started using the oil. This is this picture right here. Y'all, it's going so fast. But yeah, this is my last check-in, which was like this year. So, this video is, this clip right here, is basically me putting oil in my daughter's hair. I want you guys to see that you can also use it in your child's hair as well. This is how I do it. I let her brush her teeth or do whatever it is that she is going to do in the mornings and at night and i put her oil through her hair i keep her hair protected as well sometimes i let it out just like myself but that's normally when i'm getting ready to clip her ends or do like a really good deep conditioning her hair has grown so very much my daughter's hair is like down her back you can't see right now because of course y'all we got that shrinkage but baby, if I was to stretch it out, it is long. It is very, 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 very long. Y'all like her hair? This is my first time doing twists. I think I'm going to do them a little bit differently in the back next time. Like some individuals all the way through. Or like maybe I'll just uh, twist her up into a ponytail. But I think it turned out really, really well. I like it. It's super, super cute. And she really, really loved it. That is my niece, y'all. She has really long hair. I don't know if you can see. Let me see. Yeah, y'all can't see her hair, but her hair is also down her back. So, we just have long hair, like, in general in our family. My mother's hair is long. My grandmother's hair is long. Look, I need to pull it. I need to clip that. My grandmother's hair is long. Well, was long. Well, I don't know how to say that, but my grandmother passed this year. So, yeah, y'all. But her hair was very, very long before she cut it. But it grew out very long and thick. So, yeah, all you saw me do was put the oil through her hair, rub it in really well to get it, you know, to the scalp. Because that's exactly where you want the hair oil to go on the scalp. You want it to soak in so it can get all the nutrients from the hair oil. And like I said, you know, you, you can see your product in the hair oil, so... And by the way, guys, this video is not sponsored. None of my videos are sponsored, y'all. Someone asked me that. N none of my videos are sponsored. I just really like trying different products and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to go back through one more time and show you guys how I use it outside of my braids, my individual braids. I have cornrows and... I've been wearing a wig as my protective style. So I go through, I put the oil on my scalp like so. And if pieces get on there, I don't be worried about it. Um, Once the oil heats up, you don't have to use a lot. A little bit really goes a long way to be honest with you. Because once the oil heats up, like it just melts down. And it feels so good. And I rub it in like that. And I do this day and night for myself and my daughter. Like I said before. Y'all, I'm just wrapping that little piece back up. And I am going to pretty much put my wig on after this. And yeah, I'll be ready to go. That's it. So, oh yeah, and don't forget the back of your hair and the front of your hair. Y'all see how my edges look? Like, if you go back 
I know some of those um, clips were a little bit fast. But if you go back and look at my edges, like, y'all, compared to then and now, sometimes I'll take the excess from putting it in my hair and rubbing it through. I, that The excess that was left on my hands, I just rub it on my eyebrows because I have been working on my eyebrows growing. And honestly, it really has been helping my eyebrows grow. So, my throat is so dry, y'all. It's so dry. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and style my hair just like I did before. Like I said, you can just style your hair. It doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt it. But if you are going to blow out your hair, I do suggest you not doing the oil because it's going to weigh your hair all the way, all the way down. It's a thick oil, like I said. It's not lightweight. But I would suggest using the oil when you're like doing like a protective style. Try to do a lot of protective styles and just take time to repair your hair. Um, my mom, she also uses the um hair growth oil and it did help her edges grow. My mom had chemotherapy because she did have leukemia and um it took out her edges. Well, it took out all of her hair, but her edges really had a hard time growing back. But my mama has some long edges now, y'all. They are way thicker than they were before, and she never thought that her edges would grow back as well as they did. So, y'all, this is a really great hair oil. I'm going to tell y'all, go to the Glam Room Instagram, purchase it. You can also look at, I believe, All Grown Out Hair Growth Oil or Hair Growth Oil on Instagram. Um, either way, I have the link down in the description box below. Y'all, please don't forget to like, comment, and y'all, subscribe. Please subscribe. See you in the next video. That's it. <laughs>